They're moving yeah. along well, and we're negotiating. No, they're not. In good I mean, faith. they're not. I, I mean, they're not. Is what we're hearing that that they're they're not really moving along well. And you know, you say that he's been concerned about it for three years, but that's failing, obviously, because when you have well, look, record think, numbers think, of people coming in, that means the policy is failing. So why not change gears I and think, try to do something that works? I think it's important to put this in context too, Martha. You're seeing, as you rightly said record numbers of people. And it's not just the United States that are facing that pressure. Some uh, lots of countries in the hemisphere, including Mexico, is facing a lot of pressure at their own southern border. I mean, there are more people on the move in this hemisphere right now than there has been since World War Two. And it's a lot John, of do we have a border. Do we have a go. southern border? Do we have a what? Do we have a southern border? Yes, ma'am. Of course we then do. Then how come people can flow across it every single day? We Hundreds and thousands very- of people over the 300,000 people in December. We're working very hard to try to fix that, Martha. That's why we need congressional action. That's why the president asked for additional funding, more than you know, $6 billion in the supplemental to try to get border security enhanced. I mean, I think we, I, you and I are obviously not going to see uh, the, the policy solutions the same way. And I respect Well, I'm just that. looking for but results. Idea, I'm saying if, if idea, you're concerned about the number of people crossing, you're not getting results. The idea so at some point you have to say, we got to do something different. Now, the idea that we haven't looked at this and tried to work on this and trying to work in, in concert with, with Congress is just not true. We are. This is a complicated issue, and it's going to require a real team approach, not just from the executive branch, but from the legislative branch as well. Martha McCollum's concerns about the effectiveness of border security measures prompt a consensus that acknowledges the increasing flow of individuals across the southern border as indicative of policy inadequacies, necessitating stronger interventions. Central to these concerns is personal safety which not only explores the motivations behind border crossings, but also delves into broader societal issues. McCollum's strong stance underscores the urgent need for change, highlighting the necessity for swift and effective solutions. However, skepticism arises regarding the belief that policy changes alone can solve complex issues related to migration. Doubts persist about whether altering policies can truly address the root causes of migration, or comprehensively resolve the multifaceted challenges associated with displacement.